<laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Replay. I'm your host, Andrew Reiner, and I'm joined by three people I don't like very much, but I had to hey. have three people with me. <laughs> I have Jeff Cork. Barely a warm body. Joe Juba. Yeah. And I take that back. I kind of like Jim Riley. Yeah. Right. If, if you could work your will, this would just be the Andrew Reiner show. No <laughs> and we're getting close to that. Yeah. So we're taking a look at God of War 2. You pick Spartan difficulty? I picked the middle one. Normal. But you're the guy that, like... You're better than normal, Joe. 100%ed this game. Hey, uh, actually, that was the original God of War. I don't think I did that on God of War 2. And it looks like we're playing the original uh, PS2 version here. This isn't the this isn't the HD remake. Correct. Oh, that's right. Okay, I forgot they did that. Yeah, replay. We always try to look back at games. Uh, Tim Turry broke the system once by doing a current Wii game. Oh, with really? Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Huh. He was oh. with his band buddies. Well, that's how he was like, fired, though, right? Yeah, he was trying to impress them. It was really. Really kind of lame. Wait, was that the one with pow with Power Glove? Yeah. Okay. That'll never happen again. <laughs> so I like this game a lot. It's a pretty good game. <laughs> Your X button's going to get a workout. Yeah, it sure is. Um, yeah, I remember, I remember being super excited for this game, and it actually pretty much lived up to expectations. It's one of the few times that I remember, like, a sequel... Like, totally being pretty much exactly what I wanted it to be. This opening level is incredible. Yep. Yeah. It's, it just delivers yeah. right out of the gate. Like, the end of the first game, basically, Kratos is sitting on the throne. He's taken over. And now he's coming down to exact revenge on yeah. these people that are not worth This is awesome. He's huge. I wish that they would let you play this part a little bit. You can move your thumbs. Look at, the, look at you, Joe. You hear that? That's my thumbs moving. Zip zap. The first game ended with a giant battle between Kratos and Ares. Ares. Well, I think it's kind of uh, kind of interesting because this. I remember when this came out, it was at the end of the or it, the PS3 was already out yep. when God of War 2 came out. So there were all of these people who were sort of complaining, like, "Well, why didn't? Why isn't this a PS3 game instead?" Um, and I actually asked those guys about it. When I was, um, I, I forget what story it was for, but I was out at the Santa Monica studio for this. And their answer was basically that, like, they'd already had all the work done from God of War in terms of having a system. They knew how the system worked. I mean, if you look at just how this game runs technically, it's clear that they, like, you know, they know how to, they know how to make it, they know how to make it run smooth. So they just wanted to stick with that. And, you know, I think at that time, though, they probably still had team going on God of War 3 too. And kind of the interesting thing about the development of this game is they showed off a design concept for a potential sequel to the first game with Kratos' brother right? that they never did anything with. So we all, you know, all along we thought that would be the sequel. Right. But they did not do that at all. What's well, Kratos' brother's name? Demos. That's, that's what the storyline that they ended up picking up, uh, Ready at Dawn ended up picking up in... Um, Ghost of Sparta, the PSP game. Mm. This was a Game Informer cover back in the day, right? Yep. Oh, yep. Yeah. Well, how much changed between that and this, the final? Not much, actually. They, uh, the way they make games is pre is pretty interesting. They, the first level is always usually the last level that they make, um, mm -hmm. because they they feel like when I talked to Jaffe back in the day, it was like he wanted his team to be firing all on all cylinders for the very first thing you saw in the game, you know, like their best possible expression that they could have in terms of their development. Hmm. But yeah, I've seen, I, I saw the first one early in development, uh, the second one early in development. I went out, I remember the first one had a, had a great showing at, I think it was E3 2004. Um, and we did a, we did a feature on it then. And so I remember for the first one, there was a level that was omitted that I saw when I was up at the studio, and that was like, uh, had Kratos like outrunning a sandstorm on this kind of, uh, uh, like on a moving platform. I think that it's actually in the sort of deleted section on that on that disc. They show that, but, and then there was also, they wanted to give him wings in the first game. 
Oh, yeah, and yeah. And they had actual flying. And on that first game's disc, you could see uh, footage of him flying. And it looked bad. It wasn't finished, obviously. It was prototype. Mm-hmm. But they just couldn't get it done in time, so they decided to cut it. Yeah. yeah. You got wings in this game, yeah. I believe. You know, I think God of War, uh, the God of War games are one of the f- first ones where, like, their special features... I mean, it's the first one I remember where, like, the special features were worth watching. Like, a DVD for a movie that I really liked or something, you know? It's like, it actually... It was more than just a few little pieces of concept art or something. It's actually cool little featurettes. The first series in, uh, introduced quick time events as well? Uh, I don't know if it's the first, well, but it's the one that popular. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Main, main, with, main, uh, mainstream, yeah. Pretty much all developers a year later were doing them. Because it was... I know Shenmue was before this. That had a lot. That had yep. some Dragon's Lair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Stupid Dragon's Lair. I hate that game. I I'm, still, cool. I'm still mad at that one. So, like most sequels, they strip Kratos of all of his powers. <laughs> yeah, but I can't that. stand it in games. It's just like, why can't you just make the the game harder or just do something different with it? Like, yeah. Almost every series does it, and I wish developers would find a different way just because it's so defeating to go into the game knowing you have all this cool stuff and then just have it all stripped away. Yeah. I don't know. I think... You got to go to the catapult. Oh, oh yeah, I know. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just like killing some dudes. Um, I know, because, like, I wouldn't expect... You wouldn't expect them to just... Like, like think about how Mass Effect would be right now if they kept the same... Uh, if they kept the same system from the original Mass Effect and all those skill points, and you were just building on it. Like, I don't think this... I don't think the skill system would... You know, like, the game needs to evolve. It needs to evolve, but at the same time, oh, like, whoops. Shepard's, like sharpshooting skills wouldn't just suddenly disappear or her his or her ability to like levitate an enemy like that's just i don't know i'm, I'm, I'm okay up. with it at this point i understand that what's going on all right he stops me with sequels <laughs> uh. so they showed a close-up of kratos there obviously he's wearing the the ashes of his fallen family <laughs> yep where does the racing stripe come across? Like all the way across his head. What oh, is man. that from? You need to you need to play the you need to play the PSP versions, man. That's explained in the PSP ones. It's, it's in Ghost of Sparta. Yep. I need is to play it that he's too. trying to become like a NASCAR? He's he needs like a cool <laughs> stripe. I'm looking for sponsorship. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. No, it, it, it is. It's NASCAR. <laughs> You're right. And that's what I thought. <laughs> it's always NASCAR. <laughs> yeah, let's do this this time. And the part where you go inside of him is so awesome. Oh man, this whole, this whole sequence. Like I remember just being blown away. Like if this is the game's first level, it just has so much promise for like what the rest of the game is gonna be. Born bunch of boring, talking bits. <laughs> Dear Kratos. Every game in the series though <laughs> hasn't really topped the intro, for each game though. Like it never really gets bigger than that. Yeah, that's true. Well, I don't know. God of War three. Um, had that uh, uh, the Chronos yeah section. Chronos pretty cool that, that was, was amazing ridiculous and that's where they started doing some really cool stuff with camera work yeah yeah that, I, that that's really what I, I I feel like that's what God of War three did that was really sort of elevated it, it was just like this uh, what no sorry the presentation of it was just awesome all right. So funny story about the first one when uh, when we got in review code, Joe and I were playing it together, <laughs> and we couldn't stop. And Andy McNamara, our editor in chief, uh, decided to sit and watch us play it for a bit. And he ended up sitting there all night, all throughout the morning with us. Yeah, trying to give us those patented Andy McNamara tips of. <laughs> Like, I could totally do it on my first try, but you totally can't. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, dumbass, why are you having so much problem with those blades? <laughs> Th- thanks, Andy. Hey, no, no, you, you don't. You want to not climb into the sharp parts? Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah, we, we we get it. Yeah, I remember that though too, because we started playing that game like right after lunch. So yeah. I don't know, like you know, one or two in the afternoon or something, and we just sat and played it until we couldn't stop. We really couldn't yeah, stop playing it, it, like until one or two in the morning. Just did it all in one giant sitting. It was awesome. 
I think the next game, or maybe around the same time that I did that with, was Res Evil 4. I couldn't stop playing that. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And that, that was a pretty long game, too. <laughs> I think that game was too long. I no. know a lot of people get... Resident Evil, Resident I Evil 4. I loved everything about it. Castle, like, Castle Level's lame. Resident Evil 4. That. No, that's like, where you get the girl It was like 25 you. to 30 hours, and it needed to be about 5 to 10 hours shorter. You wouldn't make that, like, giant Napoleon kid robot a casualty of your, <laughs> your editing, would you, I hope? <laughs> oh, no, I'd love to keep him in there. Okay. I mean, that you was guys so gotta awesome. leave that game alone. Yeah. It made so much sense. Yeah. People course. forget about that part. Yeah. When they think about that game. That's the stupid. It's so weird. <laughs> yeah. I've died so many times this part on the hardest difficulty. What was the hardest part of the game on the hardest difficulty? Hmm. I don't remember most of this game. <sighs> yeah, in fact, I don't think I did this. I think this is the fight that made me be like, ugh, you know what? Not worth it. I've beaten all the games on the hardest difficulty. Wow. Nope. Should also point out, Jim, the guy I kind of like here, is also our Dark Souls, or I guess the Souls series expert. <laughs> How many times have you beaten Dark Souls? Uh, Dark Souls, I've only beaten in once. He also likes. What about Demon Souls? But I've also put about 170 hours into it. So, yeah. Uh, Demon, Demon Souls? Souls. Demon Souls, I've beaten like I think it's 16 times. <laughs> that is too many times. Game's a pretty good game. He likes it when people step on his tongue also. Really so when hard. you play a game that many times, are you playing through with the same character over and over to level him up? Uh, or are you switching? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's multiple playthroughs, yeah. It's not like I started over fresh every time. Don't be ridiculous, Ryder. <laughs> Alright, get that guy. <laughs> I forgot about that. Just, I just feel bad for him. He's just a statue. <laughs> yeah. Like, leave me alone. I just want to stand here and do nothing. Yeah. No such luck, you dumb statue. I'm racist against statues. So what's your favorite, I guess, fatality or kill in the entire series? Oh, man. That's a tough one. I really, I think it's got to be Poseidon in God of War three. And what happened in that one? That's the first person. Pokes his eyes out. I want to say the last fight in God of War three where they don't tell you to stop. Oh man! And yeah. you just keep jamming on the button. That I think I hit the button two hundred fifty like times. The, <laughs> the screen was entirely red. That was against. Who was that against? That wasn't Zeus, was it? It was, yeah. Yep. I think my favorite, most satisfying kill is when it's in this game. It's I forget the name of the dude, but he um, it's when you're on the horses, and uh, he has like a, a pole, I think. Oh yeah, like the barbarian. He does thing like dude? he does like a bunch of like ice spells or something. But that is an insane battle on the horse difficulty, and when you because like you you put his head in the door and then you slam the door. Yeah. On his head, that that was a good kill. At that one. Oh son of a. Okay, sorry guys. Uh, I remember in the the first game, the part that gave me the mo the most trouble on the hardest difficulty was that was the like multiple Kratos fight. Oh yeah, oh, like yeah. as the church is is falling apart. Like that was the kind of thing where I would play that for like three hours in a night, and I'd maybe get twenty seconds further into it than I could at the beginning. There's also the fight where you have to protect the dude from getting killed. Uh, I don't remember that one. Um. What dude? I, I think it's it might be God of War One. Or maybe it's God of War Two. Uh, you have to save him, then you sacrifice his body. That open. I forget the name. I forget what's going on. Oh. But you have to keep this dude alive. And there's like just a bunch of creatures being spawned the whole time. <laughs> yeah, that sounds awesome. Yeah. What? Just keeps going and <laughs> yep. going. I forgot to also uh, voice my appreciation for this part when, or for a part earlier, when you're just trucking along and then the giant foot just like breaks through, yeah. the, through the wall and tries to smash you. That was totally sweet. All right. 
This game has really good pacing too. Yeah, I, I don't think it gets enough credit for for the pacing. Everybody talks about the big moments, the deaths, mm-hmm. the action, but their level design is fantastic. A lot of door opening throughout yeah. the whole series. Fair bit of that. It is awesome too in the in how like after the first game, they listened to how much people hated uh, the like the plank walking stuff. To the point that there's actually a joke about it in the in the like Origins collection, the PS the collection of the PSP games. Like you go across one plank and you get an achievement. It's like cross every plank in the game. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the planks were kind of lame. Whenever he's like hanging on ropes is kind of stupid looking yep. too. Yeah. And it's not even it's really fun goofy. to hit. It's yeah. not even fun to combat on that either. And they're usually pretty long. Yep. All right. Jeff Cork will tell you a thing or two about calling this a puzzle. Oh yeah, this is my favorite kind of puzzle. <laughs> At least you can kick it. You know what I mean? That I've always appreciated that where you don't have to agonize over every inch you have to push it. You can just be like mm-hmm. yeah. skidoosh. Right. Just go over here. Remember that video back at GameInformer.com before the relaunch of God of War where a certain former editor <laughs> <laughs> recorded himself playing and it was like a bunch of enemies around and he's like trying to open a chest. Yeah, he's just he, getting he, interrupted over and over. <laughs> it was yeah, so fun. I might have posted something in the Game Informer forums about that. And <laughs> might have gotten a little trouble for doing that. <laughs> pointing out uh, how horrible this person was at the game. Yeah. I think another video was like, there were several videos. One of them in- included uh, such riveting footage just uh, opening up the menu and saving the game. <laughs> Climbing a ladder. Yeah. Yeah. Getting hit by, in God of War 1, all those spikes. Yep. Or the buzz saws. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, those were brutal. We've come a long way. I wonder if we still have those, like, if we could find those videos and post them. I thought again, someone saved hilarious. them. Yeah. I mean, unless it's like, unless it's like super replay, no one wants to just watch you like fumble through and like, and fail. No. Oh, God. Speaking of which. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's it's kind of what happens on replay when Dan's playing, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's just what you, what you understand. Did, if you want to see an uh, epic example of that, check out the RoboCop replay that we did. Oh, man. That was ridiculous. Is that Zeus talking? Yep. Is it the same voice actor across all three of them? I think so. That ended the Great War and defeated the Titans. Drain your godly powers. No, it is. Pretty sure. Only then will you reach your full potential. Why do you aid me now? What I do now, I do for the good of I can't look at him now without thinking of NASCAR. <laughs> He's got some corporate sponsorship. Extra virgin olive oil ink. I like the uh, really fun thing in this game is going back after you beat it and having all your upgrades and just slaughtering everybody. Oh, yeah. Well, you actually get that blade you get the, also yeah, you that get the you blade. Can play around with. I mean, did you did you use that blade much in like the harder difficulty levels, Jim? Uh, well, when you start a uh, new difficulty, all of your previous like stuff you got doesn't oh, carry over. That's right. So it doesn't matter if you've got the blade on normal because when you yeah. start on hard, it's just... That's right. Okay. These guys are all really brave. Yeah, I would you just not. gotta see death coming at you. Mm-hmm. I like, mean, they're also idiots. Well, I'm gonna so. shoot my arrow at this this death dealer and uh, From six hope for the best. Away. Maybe I'll be the one that lands the, the killing blow. Right. So, Joe, you're pretty up on on the Greek mythology and all that stuff. Sort Who of. hasn't he killed that's of importance? <laughs> uh, or is pretty much everybody here Mount Olympus dead? Everybody's just gone. No, I mean, like, there are there are lots of gods still. Uh, I mean, he only killed, like, a few people, or, like, a few key gods in the Pantheon, but... Um, 
like it, 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 God of War's version of Greek mythology is an actual Greek mythology, you know. So it seems like, in terms of important people in the mythos, he's got most of them. It is. I should note he didn't kill um, Morpheus, who is the god of dreams that you see in um, uh, the first PSP game, uh, Chains of Olympus. Like he was sort of Morpheus was sort of set up to be the bad guy of that one, and uh, you never actually saw him. So I would bet if there's more God of War set in this oh, universe or whatever. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> such horse crap! I hate this. So basically, if they oh. do do a fourth proper God of War sequel, it's just going to be him killing Morpheus over and over and over and over again. Oh yeah, probably. You could just say it's in a dream world, right? Yeah, I mean, well, I'm, I'm just saying in terms of characters that they've established in the universe, that's that's the big notable dude who's still alive. Maybe Harry Hamlin from Clash of the Titans, too? <laughs> <laughs> and that weird robot owl? <laughs> robot owl? Yeah. Yeah. There's a, there is a robot owl in those movies. Yep. Are they in the new ones, or is it just the old I've one? never seen the new ones. I don't yeah. really care to either. They look so lame. They just look like they're copying God of War anyway. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a total ripoff. <laughs> we put that in our in our calendar section or in the timeline section when uh, when the original Clash of the Titans or no. When the remake of Clash of the Titans came out or whatever. And people got pissed. <laughs> we got Andy oh. Obviously they send send it to Andy and he's like, What is this about? You can't say you it guys, You guys saying that God of War or Clash of the Titans is based on God of War and Greek mythology is based on God of War. Oh. And, uh, yeah, I, I want to say we got thousands of letters for that. And if you read our next issue, the March issue, there might be uh, something about along the same lines for the Wrath of Titans sequel that's coming to theaters in yeah. March. Just remember Andy at GameInformer.com. Oh. Dang it. So what were we saying about these tightrope blocking sections they, that they're so great part of the problem is is that like I just get impatient and I rush because I hate them so much I mean Kratos should be doing it like walking on his hands and flipping across these yeah like why is it that he can just like brutally eviscerate a minotaur but then he like walks like a ballerina <laughs> when maybe, maybe he's wasted yeah. <laughs> maybe he has like no balance the ancient, the ancient Greece sobriety test. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> well, he did shrink recently, and that might have had an oh, effect yeah. on his equilibrium. I like the epic music that was accompanying that, the tightrope sequence. It's like Kratos, Goodbye. he was confused. He just wants a <laughs> hug, and it wasn't there. He got left hanging. All right. So, so what magic power do you have? What was it doing down here? Out of the gate here. I think it's the uh, tornado one. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's the it's the electrical power from the first game. But yeah. then, you know, you lose it, and uh, so what was it? What the crap? Oh, that's right. And he's back. You gotta run, you gotta run, run, run. He's so patient. Here we go. Oh. I broke his hand. Okay, so now the trick here is that I have to get close enough to bait him into like doing that, right? Then you gotta like stun him. And then... Then you can run and get the sword. Right, but I need to, yeah, like, if you, if you stay too far back, he won't attack you in a way that you can, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just keeps doing this crap. I wonder if in the next game, if there is a next one, if they will, uh, if the enemies will realize maybe we should send not just one giant after Kratos, <laughs> maybe two or three. That's what they tried to do in God of War 3. With all these titans and shit. Yeah, but they were one at a time, though. Mm. And they should just have more platforming. <laughs> and tight roping. Yep. This is a uh, downfall. Fine. 
Do it. Oh, not like that though. I'm doing my maybe we should try doing my magic when he does that. What is the shiny thing over there? It's uh you gotta pick it up and throw it at him. Can I do that now? No, you already stunned. I'm gonna die. I'm not missing anything here, right? This just takes a while. Uh. Oh. Keep getting hit in there. Ooh, nice. So you nope. can't interact with the sword yet. No. I think I just keep pecking away at his hand. This is garbage. I can get like two hits in each time. Yeah, you, you gotta dodge that, Joe. Yeah, no, <laughs> thanks. Thanks, there you Andy. Go. Oh, two. Here he comes. He's into it. I don't remember this taking this long. I mean, I. I think this is. As soon as you grab a sword, he's gonna hit you. Yeah, as soon as. So he's pissed, that's a good sign. There you go. There you go. Get, there it, get, go. It, get it, get it, get the sword, get the sword. With your godly power drained into the blade, it will have the strength to destroy. This, that's just such a bad idea. What's the idea? To. The idea is Zeus is like drain all of your godly power into this sword so the, then you can use the sword to kill it. It's, I mean, like, it seems be a like badass a, sword, though. Yeah, but I mean, like, it's an obvious trap. Come on. There you go. Three heads. Ooh. Four heads. Getting better. Look at that. There you go. Get the sword, get the sword. Oh yeah. No more med. Now what? They do it one more time, then you get the sword. And it's game over. I just noticed without Dan in the replay room, we're not having any, like, ridiculous argu arguments. You're talking about things that, like, 12-year-olds normally do, except <laughs> you're 24. I don't know, Jeff, can you bring some uh, Dan insight into this? Yeah, sorry, 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 oh, sorry. Right, right. Let's see here. Well, Lucky Charm is killing the best cereal. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Kansas Hair and I every day. Lucky Charm. <laughs> what about Cookie Crisp? Oh, come on. That's terrible. <laughs> This thing now? No, no, no. Okay. The great thing is, watch out. Well, Dan won't watch this episode, so we can make fun of him as much as we want. No, the great thing about Dan is you can make watch fun out, of him out. if he was oh. sitting next to you. <laughs> He's really good about just sucking it up. Getting greedy, uh, Joe. Getting greedy. Yeah. I you need to give more statues flamethrowers. Arm flamethrowers. In fact, I, I need one of those also. Come on. I mean, I, I realized that was my fault, but. There you go. And I get the rock thing. Okay. <laughs> Jim, you know your game. I know. I don't know. I play video games. All right. Do we want to keep playing? We want to see this through to the end of I the mean, sequence? We, we can get there. Almost done, I think. Yeah, we're not far. Yeah, I think we're pretty close, right? Yeah. yeah. This means Joe doesn't die anymore. I don't think I've died yet. You haven't. But. I'm a champ. I remember this part was so amazing at the time. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you gotta go across there and then you gotta shimmy. I have to, like, do some attack. Oh, yeah, no, blow it. Yeah, that's yeah. You're like a replay strategy guide. <laughs> only, you only play this one game for one year. <laughs> you get to know it pretty well. 
Well, I like that it was like it's always, it's bigger inside than it was outside. Yep. No, even in the Overblood 2 Super Replay, you were helping out know. with strategies. Oh. We got to take you off being news lead and be <laughs> yes. replay helper. Replay helper. Our 900 line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you guys ever call the 900 game helplines? Oh, yes. Yeah. The Nintendo one, way back in the day, like NES. Yep. And I actually went to their headquarters while that was still up and running. Yeah. And each desk had these uh, notepads and these binders filled with strategies. So these people would be pulling them out alphabetically, flipping, <laughs> talking to someone on the phone, and I'd watch them like flip over and they'd start reading strategies. Like, the flute you're looking for, for is like in the flower bed. And it looks like Jason, our producer, is handing me. He still has his Capcom. I've had that for about 20 years. Ago. Capcom. <laughs> Wait, you still line keep that in, in your wallet? Just in case I need some help. We'll show a picture of it right now. Yeah, run That's it. awesome, man. All right, down. Yeah. There we go. Take that, you dumb chain. So this is technically still the first level. Yep. yep. Unbelievable. This is like the, in, the yeah the like intro sequence or whatever. I wonder if I have one of those in my head. <laughs> I hope so. I like to think you do, Jeff. <laughs> I like to think you do. I think we all have one of those in our head. Yeah. It's so, right. It's right next to Christmas spirit. <laughs> what are you uh, talking about over there? Uh, I don't know, like some sort of chain clockwork mechanism. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> What's the running gag in all three of the games so far? It's the the, the captain. Guy with the key? Yeah, like the captain, the captain that of the ship from the first game. Uh, you like run into him in Hades in this yep. game. He he finally dies though, right? For good in the third one. Yeah, I believe so. Like you knock him into Hades in this one, or in the first one. You run into him in Hades in the second one. Yeah. I don't remember what the yeah, third one was. Yeah. So what do you think the series would be like if you had choice? Like what? Between like evil or just really sinister. <laughs> like you have kind of a heart, but not really. Nah, I'm glad that it doesn't mess with that at all. I don't. I don't want a god of war with with a heart. I'm saying, like, you could either just chop off a guy's head and put it in your backpack, or you could chop it off and, like, urinate on it. Huh. That and sounds then, like, like kind of bounce it around right on your knees like a hacky sack. You should play Postal 3. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, seems... you shouldn't. <laughs> Actually, there is a Reiner and Phil episode on Postal 3 going up next week. Really? Yes. That's too bad. And I believe Jason has played a little bit of it. And uh, what are your... Initial thoughts. We're, we're going to have to censor the hell out of this game, I think. Even with an age gate. Ooh. Reaching black, black like, bars everywhere. Yeah, bars are just... Like the entire bleeps. screen <laughs> and bleeping out audio. All at the same time. Just one big black... <laughs> did you guys ever see the Postal movie? No. I did. Yeah. It's a Yui <laughs> Bull movie, right? It is. Ugh. Sorry. I got a sneeze coming on. <laughs> <laughs> this is a replay first. You gonna let it out? Uh, no, I think I think I I think I fought it back. Oh, I should have spent my stupid orbs powering up my blades. Well, I think that's gonna end our look at God of War two for now. Um, we're right at the end though. Yeah, we're almost there. Oh, like yeah, don't don't let one little sneeze take you down. Like this is this is its dumb head right this, here. This is the finale. Oh man, you know how to beat this show? Uh, you gotta go back down there. I don't appreciate your tone, Jim Riley. <laughs> this is where you do this. Yeah, you gotta get it and then run back up there and pull back up. Oh, come on. There we go. I see no, like no, no. hearts on the up, rider's pull the, head right the now. Lever. Jim, the strategy. Go, go, go. Oh. 
Oh, Damn. that's right. I'm, I'm, I'm safe. Nice. Sweet. That's a pretty cool little puzzle they had there. Inside Jeff Quirk's head. There it is. There we go. All my important thoughts gone. <laughs> One sword thrust. Here goes fifth grade. Joker ready to run. We can do it. I don't remember any of this. I might gotta go. I might have to go see a doctor at some point. <laughs> nice job, Joe. I'm the best. Woo. All right. That's going to end our kick out of War 2. Oh, it to just smash him and then game over. Yep. And boom. Let's move on to roulette. All right. Here's our roulette. We're looking at Ghost Rider, a God of War for... Lack of a better term, clone. The 2006 game of the year. Yeah. And Jim, you played through this one like clone? 18 times, 19? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, I don't remember. They put me in the credits, actually. I played it so many times. <laughs> they re-released the game. They re-released it. That is correct. That's that amazing. Correct. Man, that's a dumb-looking Nick Cage back there. Also, is there no... Oh, okay, there's... There's stuff happening. They're saying stuff. Big budget here. They didn't, like, get, they didn't even get Nick Cage. No, they, Scott Bakula. It's like it's like Scott Bakula and El Pacino kind of mix into one dude. Oh, Barton. I hate that Barton. His wavy hair. Just punch that dude. Smudgy cheeks. <laughs> I actually have no idea anything about Ghost Rider as far as backstory goes. Marvel Comics character. I got that much. You haven't seen the Nick Cage masterpiece? No. Huh. Johnny Blaze. You know, the dude that turns into Ghost Rider. Why? Why is it? Okay, I'm gonna rant a little bit for a second here. Okay. I hate it how in comic books characters have like convenient, like their real names are just conveniently uh, appropriate for their superhero names, like Enigma for the Riddler. Come on, whose last name is Enigma? No one's last name is Enigma. Bruce Banner. What? Okay, not all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I, I, I mean, it's stupid. What's, uh, what's, what's what Poison Ivy is Pamela Isley or something like that? The, yeah. Harley, Harley Quinn? What? What's uh, um, Aquaman's real name? Arthur. Fish crap. That explains everything. Yeah, fish crap. <laughs> Some people call him Arthur. Okay, this title seems stupid. All right. Wait, this guy le less stupid. So this is developed by Sony Santa Monica? Uh, right. Yeah, the A-team uh, at Sony Santa okay. Monica. It's developed by Climax. And uh, so basically you play as the spirit of vengeance. You're like this demon that comes from this, this human character. He transforms into this guy and uh, takes oh, out sinners. Oh, demonic people. suplex. I will demonic suplex you. Demon. Do you see demon mm -hmm. souls? It's just like demon souls. Yeah, yeah just like a... Demon Souls. Well, no, right there. it, there, there's. Has, Look, I don't uh, have time to possessive. read all that stuff. All I know is that it said Demon Souls. Yeah, it's it's exactly the same. There we go. So, is that the strategy you used the most? Was the suplex? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, stairs! I love using these. Pretty cool way to get, get up. Yeah. Elevated if platforms. You, you want to change your elevation? Yeah. Nothing beats stairs. Yeah. Perhaps escalators. Climbing a rope. <laughs> we had one of those in my house before we got stairs. So I was like, I am not putting up with this crap anymore. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted to say something about your house. It's kind of a shithole. It is completely awful. <laughs> Hope you like sitting on hay. <laughs> Come visit my house. Yeah, I don't think it's the proper environment to raise children in. Yeah, they're barely children. So this game has a Devil May Cry like combo meter going thing? Yeah, I mean... Mm. There is a meter. <laughs> it has You're numbers. Correct. Look at that thing. And it starts Ooh. off just as awesome as God of War does. Uh, it's pretty much exactly like, let's just make it like God of War. Yeah. Uh, someone at 
at the developer was... I mean, I mean, to, to be fair, I guess I don't want to insult them because, like, you know, it's not not necessarily their fault they're developing the Ghost Rider game. And it is a pretty good approach. Like, well, I mean, yeah, it, it, it's... He's got this chain with fire on it. Yeah. It's better than it could have been for Ghost Rider. I mean... Yeah, if I was tasked with making a Ghost Rider game, I wouldn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. I'd like, no, just close up shop, we're done. <laughs> That's the kiss of death. See, what they should have done is put all their money on Nick Cage. I remember, I think this game also, I don't know if we'll get this far in the roulette, but I think this also has, like, dumb motorcycle Oh, it does. Also. Yep. Oh, Jeff, you, you've you played this. I played this, too, yeah. Okay. It does have dumb motorcycle parts. Oh. Is it voiced by Nick Cage? Does he have his voice in here? No, I yeah. don't think it has any any affiliation with Nick Cage. What a jerk. Maybe Nick Cannon? I don't know. We just support your franchise for this movie you're in. Yeah. And he's in the sequel. Well, and then, well, then there's also the fact that, like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm Nick Cage. I'm too good to do a voice for a video game. Oh, this script for Drive Angry looks great. Oh, let's, let's be in that. Drive Angry, my I will be in favorite any movie, movie of actually. two years ago. Okay, D Drive Angry is, I mean. Hey, Kimmy, that movie's great. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> It's amazing. Come Come on. On. I think that could have made it better as the Macho movie? Man Randy Savage. Jeez. <sighs> you guys are getting all worked up over fake Dan Riker. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <he's> not, <laughs> you not, created him. <laughs> he's not even hearing you. are still talking about him. So. Oh, he's like a poison. So what's going on in this game? Is there like a story or something? Uh, okay. So okay, so in the movie... He had to take on a bunch of different spirits, and they were all elemental. How stupid is that? So he was like fire, there was like a water demon, all that stuff. This game, I don't know if it's just like a side story, you're going through hell, it looks like. Yeah. Hell's not that bad if this is it. No. They're probably really excited, like, all right, God of War is pretty good, but I think we're going to do them one better. We're going to take the action to hell. <laughs> uh, you do realize that Hades is uh, basically hell. Uh, also Tartarus, sir. Well, we have motorcycles <laughs> with bone wheels. Uh, all right. I don't know Words in this mean. game? What's going on? Yeah, it's pretty surreal. Yeah, look at the the word shield. <laughs> you got to break the word shield around the enemies. Yeah, you do. I, I have to get it up to B. You really do. I'll just keep, I'll keep wow. air punching him until I get it up to B. Oh, this is dumb. Oh, so uh, instead like of just saying ball. A, B, and C, they have words for the letters instead of... Yeah. I do like the suplex, though. I want to see the uh, design document for this game. <laughs> it just what? says God of War. Find find replace. Replace. <laughs> it's just a disc. God of War 1. <laughs> find replace. Yeah. Mm, boy. Like... Part of me wants to get through this level so we can see the motorcycle part, but I can only take about another two minutes. I'm already yeah. 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 A, mu a seen... much larger part of me is like they should have started off with the motorcycle part, right? Yeah. Right? I mean, if, maybe. I mean, Let's I, go into that red mist and call it. If your if your game has a motorcycle, you probably want to lead with it. Red mist, red mist. Unless you're bayonetta. Oh, so that was just a shield blocking yeah. you from, yeah. from going on. Oh, oh you know what? Th those are the game over bats. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we, we, no. we win. Uh, we win, guys. They're not even attacking yeah. you. They're no, the no, heralds yeah. of the game they're, over screen. Yeah, they're just like, hey, there we go. nice job, Ghost Rider. <laughs> yeah. You've conquered hell. Congratulations. You can't jump off the side or anything? No. Try and kill yourself. Yeah. Nah, it's not happening. All His right. Face is on fire, by the way. This is not a very good game. <laughs> Nick Cage. They're not even attacking you. Drive angry. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> Bye.